Spring is here, and with it, a brand new version of Elementor. This version is all about unleashing your creativity. Get ready to channel your inner artist and explore some new features and functionalities that will help you create unique designs for your websites. We've also continued our efforts to make performance improvements, added a new responsive UI, plus introduced our newest import-export experiment. Ready to dive into Elementor 3.2? Let's go! When you design, how do you make your text stand out and grab your visitor's attention? A great way is to step out of the bland straight line using the new Text Path widget. You can attach your text to any shape and have the text follow the contours of that shape. Here's how it works. Drag in the Text Path widget, paste in your text. You can use our list of predefined shapes or upload your own custom SVG text path for a totally customized and personal design. You can decide if you want to switch on the Show Path option or leave as is. Style your text path by defining the size, position, and colors. Cool, right? Isn't it time to get into shape? No, I'm not talking about burning off my latest ice cream binge. I'm talking about shaping the different elements on your website into cool designs with our new mask option. Make stylish designs using shapes for any element you want, like an image, video, Google Maps, and more, by using SVG or PNG images. Here's how it works. When you add an element like an image into the editor and click on the advanced section, you'll see a new mask option, where you'll be able to choose from a list of shapes. Once selected, your image will be masked by the shape you selected. It's magical! Want to upload your own shape? No problem! Upload and then define the size, scale, and position of your masked shape or create a shape that repeats itself with our repeat control. How about sprucing up your call to action buttons? Now, when adding a button, you can choose gradient colors that match the look and feel of your website. Create buttons so beautiful, your users will have no choice by clicking on them. We've talked about design features. Now, let's talk about speed. One of our main goals for 2021 is to double down on performance optimization. In this version, we reduced up to 50 kilobytes of every page load by making improvements to a wide range of libraries, including e-icons, Lightbox, Screenful, Dialog, and Share Links. Plus, we added the ability to make font loading adjustments, allowing you to modify the default way Elementor loads Google Fonts. And while we're on the topic of speed, our import-export experiment is going to save you a whole lot of time and help you get your work done faster by allowing you to, you guessed it, import and export existing Elementor content from one site to another. Streamline your website creation process and clear up time to focus on work that matters to you most. I'm gonna use that time to take a break. You earned it, Ben. One last thing to keep an eye out for is our new responsive UI. Now, when selecting the responsive mode, you can seamlessly navigate between your devices using the new top bar. Drag and resize the preview based on your current breakpoint settings. The new UI has been developed to support the upcoming additional breakpoints, so stay tuned. In this version, we covered the text path widget, mask options, gradient button, performance improvements, the import-export experiment, and the new responsive UI. We hope you enjoy Elementor 3.2. Be sure to check out the tutorials and learn more about these new features.